Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, uh, a few things have happened in the last uh, few months but uh, that's by the by. So what we've done today is we've come back to Martin Golf Club which is in Martin which we did a review about two years ago which I'll put a link up at the top of the screen now so you can see what the difference is. Um, I've just come back really to see what they've updated to see uh, any improvements that have been done. And there's a lot being done here at the minute, which is uh, which is good. Uh, there's a brand new clubhouse going up, which I'll show you later on. Um, which will have a function room in it, changing rooms, um, and a bar, which will be even better. Um, as well as the uh, simulators, which we've still got, which is good as well. We've also got a um, teaching area with a trackman, which is good as well, which we're going to go down and show you shortly. Um, and at the moment I'm on the third hole and they're redoing the tee and as you can see behind me um, there's a big mound and I think the tee is going on the top of there and we're going over but I'm not too sure, I'll have to find that out um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a few holes um, to keep myself going it's a nice sun, sunny Easter Sunday and I'll show you the rest of the club when I finish and also show you a couple of the holes as well. So uh, don't go away. Guys, we made our way to the seventh hole. Um, not that much from the course, um, because obviously you've seen it before. I'll give you a quick pan shot now of the sixth to the seventh. That's the um, sixth, and just down there is the seventh, which I think is 146 yards. Uh, they are playing off the winter tee still. Um, I am hoping that they will go to normal tees. I don't like winter tees full stop, I really hate them. But that's just my preference. So we're going to have a quick finish of this hole. Um, and then we'll show you the par 5, which is the longest one on the course. Which is the ninth. And they put in a nice new big pond. So if you slice it, you're going to go into the pond. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely day here in Cheshire. And uh, see how we go. Right guys, we've made it to the ninth hole. Um, obviously it's not a particularly long course. They have booking plan applications to uh, extend the course, which they are waiting for, uh, which I believe is about 12 months delay or behind. So uh, hopefully the next 12 months will uh, make the course a bit bigger. Membership is very busy here as well, lots of members. Um, South Manchester, Stoke area, you know, it's not far away from to come, which is good. Um, a very good beginners course as well. Uh, there used to be one near me, which people used to go to, obviously because they couldn't go on at membership uh, members clubs. Um, it's got to be on par one of the friendliest clubs you can come to. Um, I'll put them up, up there with Hartford because I really like Hartford as well. Yeah, it's one of my favourite places to go to. Um, but this is also an uh, excellent place to come to. Very friendly staff. Uh, Chad and, uh, and the staff and Lisa got that right, didn't want to miss Lisa out so yeah, this is the power 5 um, you've got a pond on your left and there's like a pond on the right I'll try and show you it now um, you can see the pond just down there and a bit further up we just spin that round I'll string you in a bit 
that's where that guy is now, them red markers, that's a new pond which they've put in to deal with drainage. And as you can see, the brand new clubhouse um, just behind them trees there is going up. We will have a look around shortly when we get back to the, uh, the clubhouse. So we're going to tee off on a par 5 and we'll see how we do. The way I'm playing today, phew, anything's possible. Um, but that's what you get for not playing golf for a few weeks. So I'll speak to you shortly and I'll give you a look at um, what's been updated around the club. Right guys, we've uh, we've done the 8th, well we've done the nine. you can do it again if you want to. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what's um, been updated um, since we were last here, which is about two years ago. We've built a little, maybe a little practice area here as well, um, which I think they use for the kids as well, which is um, which is good to get the kids back in. I'll just show you now. So you've got some different things to aim at, um, which is good. One, two, three, four, six bays, five bays, sorry. Um, and obviously you've got the, the bays I'm stood in here, which you can use for lessons, which is another one. And just next door here as well, which is all short up, you've got a, a track man, um, which they can do proper lessons with as well as in the simulator which we've done a video of as well, the simulator, which I'll certainly click to as well. Just to point out as well, we were the first here to do a review of the course and to do a review of the simulator. So you may see others on here, but uh, remember, we were the first here. Um, we've also got the practice swing there, which is, uh, which is new, practice swing on. Two little bits, three little driving ranges there to practice when you come and warm up, as well as the oh, as well as the putting green. Bit out of practice with this uh, camera work, I tell you. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a good place to come um, to warm up, practice a short game. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not little, it's not an easy course. You know, people say it's like a pitch and putt, but it's not. It's um, some tough course, tough holes, uh, some tough greens as well. So it is a test for your game. Also, there's an added bonus. If you ring up and book, you can also book, I think, to get your car balloted. Um, they used to be come here and do it. I think they used to be based here, but they've moved now. But they will come and ballot your car. Not too sure on the price, but I'm sure if you ask when you book, um, you can get your car balloted while well, you have 9 holes of golf or 18 holes of golf. And obviously go back into the clubhouse for something to eat. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do is we'll walk over and I'll show you what the uh, new clubhouse is going to look like. It's not finished yet, but it's uh, improved since we were last here. Right guys, as you can see, just over there is where the new clubhouse is going to go. Um, I think it's be two, two or three floors, not too sure, but like two. Uh, you can have changing facilities and there's going to be a restaurant as well, which is good for the members. Hopefully over here as well you've got the bunker, which has got the two simulators in. Again, ideal for the British weather. The car park is full as well, which is good. And, uh, yeah. Not what else I can really say about the place. But come on down. Mention me when you get here. Let them know you've seen the course on YouTube. They may give you a discount, they may not do. Who knows, depends how they feel. But um, yeah, come down, say hello to Chad and Lisa and the staff. And come and enjoy yourself. She's Martin Meadows Golf Club, or Golf Course, I don't know how you'll pronounce it. It's on Martin Road in Martin, which is in between Orderly Edge and Congleton. She's not far from Stoke and not far from Stockport or South Manchester. And they do plenty of competitions throughout the year as well, which they also include, um, I must get this right as well, a handicap system, even though they're not officially on the handicap system yet. But what they do is they actually come down, play at least three rounds, hand a card in, 
it will work a handicap out for you and that way uh, it'll stop any bandits arriving thinking they're going to win and take all the money which you, you shouldn't get nowadays but you made it anyway on that note thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in my time to hold